These aren't sci-fi fantasies. They're real, they're deadly, and they're rewriting the rules of modern warfare. The war in Ukraine has sparked a new era of combat technology, where the battlefield is evolving and drones are leading the charge. Today, we'll look at some of the most brutal and game-changing drones reshaping the front lines. Thermite and Flamethrower Drones The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has seen the deployment of thermite and flamethrower-equipped drones, introducing a new level of destruction on the battlefield. Thermite, a pyrotechnic composition made of metal powder and metal oxide, typically aluminum and iron oxide, generates temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius when ignited. This intense heat can melt through metals and other materials, making thermite an ideal weapon against fortified positions and critical equipment. The Ukrainian military has integrated thermite-based payloads into their drone operations, creating what are known as Dragon Drones. In September 2024, Ukrainian forces used such drones to attack Russian trenches, setting them ablaze and causing significant material and personnel losses. Flamethrower drones, on the other hand, are equipped with systems capable of projecting streams of flammable liquid or incendiary gel. These drones can deliver sustained bursts of fire, making them effective for clearing vegetation, bunkers, and entrenched positions. Both Ukrainian and Russian forces have developed and deployed flamethrower drones. In November 2024, Russian engineers introduced a flamethrower-equipped FPV drone designed to counter Ukrainian UAVs. Conversely, Ukrainian forces have employed similar drones to target Russian defensive positions, clearing entrenched enemy troops with intense directed firepower. Gun-armed drones. These drones are equipped with automatic rifles, transforming them into remote-controlled attack platforms. In November 2024, Ukraine's Bulava drone unit demonstrated the potential of this technology by mounting an AK-47 rifle onto a Wild Hornets drone. During a successful ambush near Velika Novosilka in the Donetsk region, the gun-armed drone opened fire on Russian soldiers, forcing them to retreat into nearby forests. Despite taking damage from return fire, the drone continued its mission, using advanced stabilization systems to manage recoil and maintain accuracy. The Balava unit has further expanded its drone arsenal by integrating grenade launchers, enabling multi-role missions ranging from direct combat to tactical bombardments. FPV drones targeting military helicopters. On August 7, 2024, Ukrainian forces achieved a groundbreaking success by deploying an FPV drone to strike a Russian Mi-28 Havoc attack helicopter in mid-flight over the Kursk region. The drone targeted the helicopter's tail rotor, a critical vulnerability, causing the aircraft's downing and the loss of its two-man crew. These types of attacks introduce a new dimension to asymmetric warfare where smaller, agile forces can effectively challenge more technologically advanced adversaries. Despite this notable success, targeting fast-moving helicopters with FPV drones remains an extremely complex task. It requires exceptional piloting skills and precise timing, as helicopters can perform evasive maneuvers and deploy advanced countermeasures to avoid incoming threats. As drone technology continues to evolve, such innovative tactics are reshaping the dynamics of modern aerial combat. Just a quick moment before we move on. If you're new here and you like this content, consider subscribing to sustain our work and help us create more videos like this. The Vampire Drones These drones, also known as Baba Yaga, are heavy-lift multi-rotor drone equipped with six powerful rotors configured in a hexacopter design. This setup provides exceptional stability, impressive load capacity, and reliable performance even under challenging conditions. Each rotor functions independently, allowing the drone to keep flying even if one or two rotors are damaged, a crucial advantage in combat situations. The frame is crafted from lightweight yet durable materials such as carbon fiber and reinforced polymers, ensuring both strength and agility. This smart design maximizes the drone's operational range and payload capacity. With a maximum payload of up to 15 kilograms, the Vampire can cover a range of approximately 10 kilometers and sustain extended flight times depending on the mission's needs. These drones can tackle a variety of missions. In combat roles, they can carry and deploy explosives with pinpoint accuracy, causing devastating damage to enemy fortifications, vehicles, and even armored targets. For reconnaissance and surveillance, their advanced infrared cameras and thermal imaging systems excel in night operations, gathering crucial intelligence, tracking enemy movements, and identifying high-value targets. 
Beyond combat, they play a vital role in logistics and they can transport medical supplies, ammunition, and even food rations to remote or frontline units, ensuring continued operational support in hard to reach areas. Explosive laden light aircraft drones. The adaptation of civilian light aircraft into unmanned explosive laden drones has become a strategic innovation in modern warfare, enabling deep penetration strikes against critical infrastructure far beyond conventional combat zones. This tactic involves converting light aircraft into unmanned aerial vehicles capable of carrying substantial explosive payloads. On April 4, 2024, Ukrainian forces reportedly deployed two modified Aeropract A-22 Foxbat aircraft as kamikaze drones to strike facilities in the Republic of Tatarstan, over 1,200 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. These aircraft targeted a factory involved in assembling Iranian-designed Shahed drones, marking one of the deepest strikes into Russian territory since the conflict began. In a more recent case, on November 6, 2024, Ukrainian forces reportedly conducted a drone strike on the Russian naval base in Kaspisk, Republic of Dagestan, marking the first such attack on the Caspian Sea flotilla. The operation targeted missile ships including the Tatarstan and Dagestan, with reports indicating potential damage to these vessels. This strike, approximately 1,500 kilometers from Ukraine's border, underscores the extended reach and strategic impact of employing modified light aircraft as long-range drones. Utilizing light aircraft as UAVs allows forces to engage targets far beyond the front lines, while offering a cost-effective alternative to developing specialized long-range missiles. Superfast Drones Developed by the Ukrainian company Wild Hornets, these drones are built with lightweight, aerodynamic frames designed to minimize air resistance while maximizing thrust. Powered by high-performance electric motors, they can reach blistering speeds. During tests in September 2024, they hit an astonishing 325 km per hour, making them some of the fastest combat drones currently in military use. Their extreme speed enables them to perform critical combat roles with unmatched efficiency. They excel at executing precision strikes on fast-moving targets such as enemy vehicles, artillery, and even low-flying aircraft. Their speed also makes them ideal for time-sensitive missions like targeting retreating forces or intercepting supply convoys before they reach their destination. Their near-instantaneous deployment capability allows commanders to respond dynamically to emerging threats, adapting to rapidly changing battlefield conditions. Fiber Optic Guided FPV Drones Electronic warfare poses a significant threat to conventional FPV drones, which typically rely on radio frequency RF signals for control and data transmission. Adversaries employ jamming devices to disrupt these RF links, causing loss of control and mission failure. This vulnerability has driven the development of innovative solutions to maintain operational effectiveness. Fiber optic guided drones overcome these challenges by replacing RF links with physical fiber optic cables, offering several critical advantages. The direct fiber optic connection makes the communication link immune to RF jamming, ensuring uninterrupted control. Additionally, the absence of RF emissions reduces the risk of detection and interception by enemy electronic surveillance systems. Fiber optic cables also provide high bandwidth communication, facilitating the transmission of high quality video and telemetry data with minimal latency. However, there are limitations. The drone's operational range is restricted by the length of the cable, typically extending up to 10 kilometers. Additionally, the trailing cable can hinder complex maneuvers and poses a risk of entanglement in obstructed terrain. AI-guided FPV drones. AI-guided FPV drones are equipped with sophisticated algorithms capable of processing real-time data to identify and track targets autonomously. This technology allows drones to execute missions with minimal human intervention effectively navigating complex environments and adapting to dynamic combat scenarios. Utilizing computer vision and machine learning, these drones can distinguish between various objects, ensuring accurate target selection. AI also enables drones to operate independently of continuous operator input, mitigating the impact of electronic jamming and maintaining mission integrity. Advanced AI facilitates communication among multiple drones, allowing for coordinated swarm attacks that can overwhelm enemy defenses. 
On April 21, 2024, the Ukrainian company Wild Hornets released two videos showcasing its newly developed target identification technology integrated into its FPV drones, effectively demonstrating AI in action. During field tests shown in the videos, the drones display green boxes over detected objects, highlighting potential targets. When a target is confirmed, the boxes turn red, indicating that the drones are ready to engage automatically. Mothership Drones The concept of mothership drones has emerged as a key innovation in modern warfare. These aerial platforms function as carriers, capable of transporting and deploying several smaller drones during a single mission. This system extends operational range, overcoming the inherent limitations of individual drones, while enabling complex, multi-drone missions. Additionally, mothership drones can serve as communication relays, maintaining robust control links between operators and subordinate drones, even in contested electronic environments. The Ukrainian military has been at the forefront of integrating this technology. A notable example is the adaptation of the domestically developed Dov Bush T-10 drone. Originally designed for reconnaissance, the T-10 has been modified to act as a carrier for first-person view kamikaze quadcopters. In this configuration, the T-10 not only transports and releases multiple FPV drones, but also functions as a signal relay, ensuring continuous communication between the drones and their operators. In combat tests, the Dovbush T-10 demonstrated the capability to carry up to six FPV drones simultaneously, executing coordinated strikes while extending battlefield reach. Anti-tank mine detection drones. Modern mine detection drones are equipped with high-resolution thermal imaging cameras, multispectral sensors, and advanced AI algorithms designed to identify and map minefields with precision. These cutting-edge technologies allow drones to detect mines by recognizing subtle thermal and spectral anomalies associated with buried explosives. Thermal imaging is particularly effective by utilizing temperature differentials between mines and the surrounding soil, which become more pronounced during specific times of the day. Multispectral sensors capture data across various wavelengths, helping to distinguish mine materials from natural ground features. The onboard AI processes vast amounts of sensor data in real time, enhancing detection accuracy while minimizing false positives. Ukraine has become a central hub for deploying drone-based mine detection systems due to the extensive mine contamination caused by ongoing conflicts. Ukrainian forces have employed drones equipped with specialized sensors to clear dangerous areas, ensuring safer conditions for both military and humanitarian operations. Despite their advantages, drone-based mine detection systems still face several challenges. Variations in terrain and dense vegetation can impact sensor accuracy, while detecting deeply buried or non-metallic mines remains a complex task requiring continuous technological innovation. Nonetheless, these drones represent a significant leap forward in reducing the risks associated with traditional mine-clearing operations. Drone dogfighting. The ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia has witnessed the emergence of drone-on-drone -drone engagements, commonly referred to as drone dogfights. Traditionally, drones have been used primarily for reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeted strikes. However, the Ukraine war has introduced a new battlefield reality where drones are deployed specifically to intercept and neutralize opposing UAVs, transforming the airspace into a contested combat zone. One notable incident occurred in June 2024, when Ukrainian forces successfully intercepted a Russian Zala reconnaissance drone using a domestically operated UAV at an altitude of approximately 2,100 meters. This engagement demonstrated the potential for drones, not only as intelligence-gathering tools, but also as active combatants. The rise of drone dogfights has added a complex layer to aerial warfare, pushing both sides to continuously innovate and adapt. As this technology evolves, drone versus drone engagements are likely to play an increasingly significant role in modern warfare, redefining air combat strategies and shaping the future of unmanned military operations. Warfare will never be the same again. As technology advances, drones aren't just tools, not they're game changers, reshaping the future of combat. What's next? Faster, smarter, deadlier machines are already being designed. The battlefield is evolving. Are we ready for what comes next?